Hey friends, welcome back to my channel and thanks so much for watching. Today we are talking all things hair care. My favorite hair products, I've got my favorite hair oils, shampoo, conditioner, heat products. I've got, uh, I mean, everything that I use on my hair. I'm going to share it here in this video with you guys and I'm gonna try and not talk too long. Everything I'm talking about is gonna be linked in the description bar below for you guys to check out. So make sure that you check there. I'll also have like makeup, outfit details in the description bar below as well. And while you're down there, go ahead and click the subscribe button. I'd love to have you guys join the fam along with my husband and I. We have a vlog channel. I'll link that right here for you guys. So yeah, just follow me on all social media channels and let's go ahead and get started. Okay, if there's one particular thing you were looking for, use the time bar below. I'm gonna use the chapters in this YouTube video. I use them in every video, but for this one specifically, I'm gonna break it up into categories. So if you're looking for just heat protectants, you know where to go. If you're looking for just hot tools, you know where to go, um, and so on and so forth. But everything in this video is very informative and in how I get like really good, healthy, shiny, happy hair. My hair care is a little different because I feel like my hair takes like a month to adjust to something or really decide if it does or does not like something versus my skin that like my skin's so sensitive it's almost like instantly I can tell if a product's not gonna work um, so I've been using most of these I think for over a month except for like one product that I'll talk about in a later portion but yeah everything here I've had for like at least a month or so um, just to cover my hair I have really 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 thick coarse hair um, like my hair is so insanely thick but I do just genetically I don't have any extensions I don't take any supplements for my hair other than I do take prenatals for my hair skin and nails because that's just always like I always find like those work better than like collagen truthfully I feel like every time I've taken a prenatal even since high school like that's just when my hair, nails, and my skin are like the best. Um, also, I really always hate to say this, but like genetically, I have really good hair. I don't have, again, like super thin hair. Um, all Every member of my family has like gorgeous, thick, full heads of hair. Um, so just to kind of cover my hair profile for you, <laughs> that's what we're starting with. Okay, so the most important thing I will cover first, and that is the products that I use in the shower on my hair. So I have been using Function of Beauty for a year. It actually was last March that I signed up for it. Um, I broke down the cost because I know sometimes you look at it, you make basically this, this custom formula for your shampoo and conditioner. You can do hair masks. I think even now they've like extended into skincare, but I just do hair care with them. And I think I broke it down. It's like $5 a week, five or like $6 a week if you break down the cost when you buy it at like 50 or so bucks for a three month supply. I'm not quite sure how big these bottles are, but I'll put it on the screen what size I get. Um, but this size bottle lasts me about three months with my hair. And so $50 up front does sound a little crazy, but when you break it down, it's about five bucks a week, which is I think only like a few dollars more than like the very cheap drugstore um, shampoo conditioner that's not at all good for your hair. So I will talk a little bit more about it, but I do wanna say Function of Beauty now does have um, like a partnership with Target and so you can go to Target and I did some research on it I think it's essentially like you pick your base and then you pick like three things that you want to add to your shampoo and conditioner I was gonna review it but it looks to be about the same as the function of beauty except this time I don't have to go to a store to pick it up it gets auto shipped to me and I don't have to mix it myself so I am going to be sticking to my shampoo and conditioner from function of beauty that ships from them rather than the Target version but I'll have the website for them linked below and then I'll also just link some of the stuff to Target it if I can. Okay, so Function of Beauty is, like I said, like a custom shampoo and conditioner formula that you get shipped to your house. You can pick the frequency, you can pick the size, color, scent, and all that kind of stuff. So about a year ago, I did a hair care quiz. I do believe it asked even like where I lived, like what my zip code was, because it can kind of tell the air quality in your area. And um, that tells them a little bit more about your hair. But I wrote down what I put. So my profile for my hair, is medium, straight, and oily because I have very, very oily hair and it is naturally pretty straight and flat. And my goals for my shampoo and conditioner are to lengthen, strengthen, and control oil. And honestly, I have been so pleased with the shampoo and conditioner from Function of Beauty that I will never change to a different one. Um, 
I just, I use different hair masks, but honestly, having a custom formula has just been so amazing for my hair. And I do find that when I change up my hair products pretty frequently is when my hair is at its happiest, similar to my skincare, but I want my like base, what I put on my hair consistently to be my shampoo conditioner. And I have been so happy with these. And I can't remember what scent I got, but I know it is freaking magical. I think it's like strawberry or something. I don't know, does it tell me on here? Nope. I don't think so, but I got the pink. Um, I used to have the green when I did the eucalyptus scent. I love them all. Honestly, this is the only shampoo and conditioner that I use and it is just the best. It makes such a difference in my hair. For the two hair masks that I use the most, I have used Kristen S before and I do really like those products. I just got water everywhere. I just find myself reaching back to these two and I'm kind of trying to get in that point in my life where I like purge. I don't need excess products and so these are the two that I actually have in my shower at the moment because I just got rid of all the others. I wasn't using them a lot. So this is the Olaplex um, Hair Perfector, the number three. It repairs and strengthens all hair types. This was actually the first Olaplex Plex product I ever tried and it was shocking. So it's actually a bonding treatment. So you dampen your hair, you put this in it, I think it says one time per week um, or two to three times per week for damaged hair and then you wait 10 minutes and then you wash it out and then you wash and dry like normal. They do have regular shampoo conditioner but again function of beauty is the way I go. Um, so I use this about once a week, once every other week because it just makes such a difference in my hair now. My hair is actually not damaged at all since I really stepped up my hair care game last year and also once I chopped my hair off, like obviously it was very, very healthy. So I use this about once a week, once every other week and it has been amazing for my split ends. The other thing that I use a lot is the Briogeo I think that's how you say it. Don't despair repair deep conditioning mask. It doesn't have sulfate, silicones, or parabens in it. And I believe this is also rated um, clean at Sephora just like this. But this literally melts my split ends away. Like these are a little bit more high end, but they are the two that I have noticed like after the first wash that I used these. I was like, oh, my hair looks amazing. Even Sam, he just will play with my hair. Um, and he's like, your hair is so soft. And I'm like, it's it's my hair masks. They make such a difference in my hair care routine. Okay, so that's really all for the shower products. Very simple. I don't use a ton of different things in there because I've just really narrowed it down to my favorites. I find what really makes my hair happy in washes and styling is where it kind of all makes a difference. So I guess I will start out with the hair oils. Um, these are, I was a little bit nervous to use hair oils when I first started adding these to my routine, but that's what made the difference. I think it's similar to like oily skin. If you have oily skin, you're not just supposed to only use products that strip oil off. Like you're also supposed to use a moisturizer. And in a way, it just really helps your oily skin. So once I started putting oil on my hair, my hair got less oily. I was shocked, I know. Um, so this isn't actually a hair oil, so I'll actually talk about this first, but it does kind of relate. So this is the Kristen S Fragrance Free Detangling Tonic, but it obviously does have like a very soft feel to it. I'm gonna be honest, I don't use this every week, every month even. I find this is best after I have had like repeated days that my hair is up or after a special event. Like I always take this with me um, when I'm in a wedding, attend a wedding because my hair is just like, I put a lot of heat to it. It usually is like thrown up in a bun by the end of the night. So since this is a detangling tonic, it's kind of gonna be best for getting all those tangles out of my hair without having to like rip and pull all the way down. So not technically a hair oil, but I'm putting it in that category because I feel like it did make a difference in my hair. The two oils that I have been using since last year, and you can honestly barely tell, this one is filled up to right here. This is the Paul Mitchell Super Skinny Serum. I believe this one is made for your hair after you wash it. Rub one pump into hands and apply on clean, damp hair. Yeah, so I actually don't use this correctly. I use this after my hair is styled, just to give my hair a little bit more shine. I think it does make a difference. It just makes my hair a little bit shinier and happier um, versus the other oil that I use after I wash my hair. So every three to four days, I wash my hair. It is usually right at three days because I work out six days a week, so I, I can't go that long without washing my hair. But after my hair is washed, whether or not I use a mask, I do get out and every time I put this on my hair, this is the Moroccan Treatment 
hair oil for all hair types. It's alcohol free. Again, I've had this since I think last June or May. Um, and it is only right here. And again, I wash my hair like every three to four days. So I've used this a ton. It has gone such a long way, but this is a high end oil that makes such a difference in my hair. It makes it really, really soft. Um, and I do find that I, when I use this, I don't always need to use the detangling tonic, but again, this is like after I've had it up for a long time. Um, or I know it's like super knotted. That's kind of when I use that. The last hair oil that I use is actually a very, very recent addition to my collection. Like I've only had this like a couple days. This is the Olaplex number no. seven bonding oil. I got the bonding oil because I liked the um, bonding like mask so much. And I was so pissed when this came in, you guys. This tiny little bottle was $28. I was so mad. I was like, this is tiny. Like what are, what is happening right now? And I got flooded with DMs after I said that of people that were like, girl, I've had mine for over a year and I'm still not even close to done. So I did feel a little bit better about that, but same exact situation. You just use a tiny bit of this on your ends and it does help bond all of those split ends back together. Olaplex again, just like it's high end. It's a little bit more expensive, but this is going to be a product that really makes a difference in your hair after you use it for the very first time. I actually used it on my hair today. So in place of the Paul Mitchell, um, I styled my hair like regular and then I use that on my ends and I feel like my hair is just so soft even with all the texture spray that I have in it. And I feel like I've said it and I think I'll probably say it again a couple times. My hair responds best when I don't use the same products in it over and over again. Multiple, like different kinds of dry texture sprays and different kinds of dry shampoos. That's just how my hair performs the best and stays the most controlled. Okay, the next step in my hair care routine is always keep protected. So wash my hair, use a mask, don't use a mask, whatever. Always put a hair oil in it. But I always, 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 even if my hair is wet and I'm not about to blow it dry, like I'm just gonna let it air dry, I still spray a heat protectant in it because it makes such a difference in how your hair one, handles heat, and two, how it looks after a long time of like putting heat to your hair. So this heat protectant is a little bit different. This is the Kristen S Blow Dry Mist. This one has to be applied to your hair when it is damp only. A little bit goes a long way with this. It smells amazing. Um, but again, your hair has to be wet when you use this and then you usually should dry it right after. I mean, nine times out of 10, I do dry my hair right after just so that I'm not going to bed with a like sloppy, wet mess of a hair. Um, so I do use this on wet hair only. Also, if you guys hear that rumbling, my neighbor has been working on, I think it's their lawnmower or something, all day. That's making me crazy. So this is an OG, like, favorite. This is the Chi 44 Iron Guard Paraben Free Thermal Protection Spray. Um, and if you really don't trust heat protectant sprays, I often recommend that you take a blow dryer and run it over your hands for a few seconds and then spray a heat protectant on it and then do it again, you will notice a significant decrease in the amount of heat that you feel on your hands. So it does make a difference, but I started using this in high school when my hairdresser looked at me and was like, your hair is gonna fall out of your head if you don't start using a heat protectant because I used to get up every single day and like just burn my hair by curling it every single day. And she was like, your hair is so damaged and it's gonna fall out. So I started using this and I recently picked it up again and I forget how amazing this smells. The smell of this is heavenly. But I find that this heat protectant can be used on wet or dry hair and it doesn't make a difference in how it looks. If you spray this on dry hair, it is going to make your hair look greasy. But if you spray this on wet or dry, it performs the same and I see no issues with it. This is actually the one that I used on my hair today because today was the first day I styled my hair since washing it and it just like, even now I can just like smell. Oh, my hair smells so freaking good with this stuff. So heat protectants are very important. Use them. There are tons of different price points out there, but these two are both at a relative, I think this one's only like 11 bucks. I think this one might be around that same price point and they're both really, really good. Okay. So now we are into more of the styling products and just like skincare and makeup, um, good makeup does not make good skin. Good skincare makes good skin. So all of this stuff isn't what's going to make my hair look shinier, be happier. Um, this is just kind of extra. This is like the makeup 
to your hair. What I just shared, that was the skincare to the hair. That was the food, that was the fuel, that was all the good stuff. This is all extra. So dry shampoos do make a difference. Um, I am able to go three or four days in between washes even when I work out super, super hard and I'm sweating a lot because I use dry shampoos. Um, this is the Way Super Dry Shampoo. This is the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Dry Shampoo. I love them both equally. Honestly, it's just whichever one I touch first. That's the one I use. Um, if I had to pick only one, it's hard. I go back and forth. I, you know, a couple weeks ago it was this one. Today it's this one. I don't know. It goes back and forth. I genuinely think they both perform great, but I actually learned that I was doing dry shampoo wrong for many, many years, and this will make a difference. So, when you are using dry shampoo in order to lengthen the time between your hair washes, you actually are supposed to like wash your hair, um, you know, put all your good products in it, blow it dry, style it, and then that night, very first day, put dry shampoo in it. Okay, your hair's not even dirty yet, but that's how it's going to work. It's going to prevent that oil from coming into your hair and getting it all gross. So if you put dry shampoo in your hair after it's already really greasy, it's not gonna have as strong of a working effect to it as it does if you put it in before your hair. Trust me, try it out. It makes a world of difference. If I, so like tonight, I'm actually gonna get on the bike. Um, it's spin night and I washed my hair last night and I styled it today. So before I hop on the bike, about 20 minutes or so, I will spray dry shampoo in my hair. And when I get off the bike, my hair is not going to look like I worked out at all. It is amazing. So dry shampoos are really, really good, but you do still need to wash your hair. Like, you know, at least every three to four days. Some people go seven. I've heard some people go longer. I can't go that long because my scalp would start to itch, but the longest I've been with a dry shampoo, I think was six days. And that was kind of the point when my scalp was like, okay, you're done. We're gonna actually make you feel like you've been bitten by fire ants in your head if you don't wash us. So dry shampoos are um, just really amazing at helping like lengthen the time between your hair washes. And that's how I found my hair stays really healthy too, is not constantly washing it over and over and over every day or every other day. All right, we'll talk about the like things I use for volume and texture. So since I have coarse hair that is very, very thick, I know it seems probably a little bit ridiculous that I do use styling products that help with thickening my hair at all, but in my opinion, the bigger the hair, the closer to God. And we all wanna be close to God, right? Big hair is the best. So I, I mean, I know plenty of people and even follow a ton of girls who have extremely thick hair and still get extensions because thick hair is just the best. You can do so much with it. Um, it's really easy to throw in buns. So that's kind of why I always like to use this stuff because I think it just, makes my hair a little bit easier to just deal with. These are probably the two I use the most. So this is the Navy Swell Styling and Thickening Cream. You do have to put this in wet hair. You basically just take a tiny little bit of it. It smells so heavenly. And rub this in your hair. This is a product that does have to be used before a blow dry. So you can't put this in your hair and then like go to sleep on wet hair. You have to blow dry your hair. But it does make a difference in your hair without making it super gritty. Um, and it doesn't have like a strong texture feel to it. So this is a cream. While this is a spray, this is the I don't think I say this right. Orbe Maximista Thickening Spray. And this does exactly what this does. Again, you have to use this on wet hair, but this one is gonna give your hair a little bit more of a gritty texture. It doesn't feel dirty, it doesn't feel like gross or anything. It just does have a slightly different texture to it. And I find that this is great. Like I would always use this if I was styling my hair to go to a wedding, um, a time when I really wanted my hair to like absolutely hold the curl, whatever I'm doing, no matter what, with no issues. This also helps me kind of style my hair a little bit faster. So I find I don't have to put my curling iron on my hair as long when I'm using this product. This is a really, really good one. And again, I've had this for like five months and it's like right there. Like the tiniest bit of this goes such a long way. So again, kind of the same thing, but this is a cream, this is a spray, both used on wet hair. Uh, this one doesn't really give your hair that different of a texture. This one it does. If I had to pick one though, I would pick this. This is something I cannot use a ton. So this is the Sexy Hair Big Powder Play. This is a powder that you put in your hair and it really makes your hair textured. I cannot use this until like the last day before I'm gonna wash my hair that night or if I'm going to a special event, if I'm in a wedding, anything like that, that's when I'm gonna use this just because I do have a very sensitive scalp. But if you are looking to add some grit to your hair, you guys, this is 
it. I actually didn't know. So at the time when I got married, I did not know that you were not supposed to technically have clean hair when it's styled. Like I didn't know that hair styles better on like day two or three. And so I washed my hair the night before my wedding. And then I learned after that, that's really not the best way to do it. And so every wedding I've been in since then, I always like, I'll curl my hair um, a couple days before. And then when I get to the actual wedding, I'm on like day two or three hair and my hair always responds best. If you're looking for something to give you that grit after you wash your hair, this is it. Okay, last one that you are supposed to use on damp hair. This is the Way Volume Spray. Honestly, I find it works the same as the Maximista like texturizing spray, um, except I do think that this really does help your roots shoot up a lot more. I don't know why. I don't know what heavenly magic is in this little perfect bottle here, but there is something in here that as soon as I spray it on my roots, I kind of like scrunch it, almost like I'm in like eighth grade and I'm like trying to get boys to notice me. You remember those days? That's how I scrunch my roots. And then <laughs> I get major, major volume when I blow dry my hair. This is another product, has to be used on damp hair. But this is one that's used on dry hair only and the smallest amount makes such a difference and goes such a long way in your hair. I am so glad I tried this out. This is the Way Matte Pomade. So I actually saw a video, Jen Atkin was doing Rosie Huntington Whitley, I think is her name. Um, she was doing a model's hair and she was using this in it. And I was just so obsessed with the way it made her hair look. So I instantly got on Sephora and bought this and I have been so impressed. You guys, I use this like, I wanna say I've had this for like three weeks. I use it every time I style. So every three to four days, like you can barely tell. It looks like there's almost no product removed from the top because the smallest bit goes such a long way. This just almost makes your hair like keep its very PC look. But I also find that is so amazing if you have an aggressive cowlick like I have. I have such a bad cowlick at my roots that I honestly have to be careful even if I tease my roots. Like I have to be so cautious about this area right here because it's so like just sticks up straight. And this is amazing. I just put a little bit of that on it and it just slicks it right down. That's actually a tip I learned from one of you guys. You said like use it on your little baby hairs. It does make a difference and dang it does. So if you have unruly baby hairs or you're looking to really keep a PC look to your hair, this is what I love for that. Honestly, I could talk a lot about all of these different sprays and what I love about each of them, but I'm just gonna go through them really, really quick because this video is already really long. And I like all of these equally. Again, these are products that I grab whichever one I touch first. Like it's not real, it, there's not a really big difference in them. So um, volume sprays I love, Living Proof Full Dry Volume Blast. This one's good. I do prefer over this one, the Navy Pebble Beach Dry Texture Spray, just because the smell of this one is a lot more heavenly, but I mean, both are really, really good. This is the Garnier Fruit Tees Deconstructed Texture Tees. If you are looking for an affordable texture spray, this is it. I use this one on like my last two days of my hair usually because this one does make your hair really, really gritty. My mom actually discovered this. You guys, it's like a $7 bottle or less than that even, and it is amazing. Another texture spray I really like is the Kristen S Dry Finish Working Texture Spray. This is probably the least working of all of them, but it's still a really good one. Never spray texture spray right at your roots. Spray it a little bit if you're gonna spray it close for like teasing purposes. If you're trying to tease here, I would recommend almost like spraying here or here. Um, and then teasing, but I use texture spray mainly on my ends to really give me that thick look. That one's really good. And then the last two are ones that a subscriber sent me. This is the Nexus Comb Through Finishing Mist in the medium hold, and this is the OGX Dry Texture Finishing Spray. I lied about just picking up whichever one I touch. This is actually, I'm reaching for this one a lot lately, so I find myself like seeking this product out of all of these and using this one. It's what I use today. It smells amazing. Gives your hair a gorgeous shine while still adding texture and it doesn't make your hair feel gritty. So these are all great. Um, for hairspray, I like the Big Sexy Hair Hairspray. I mean, that's really it. Texture sprays, I feel, are one and the same. Um, there are slightly different components to each. I think the biggest thing that I look for when I am finding a texture spray that I really like is I don't want it to make my hair look dirty. I don't want it to make my hair heavy, which some do. And I wanna get a good bang for my buck, which I think is also why I keep reaching for this one because this one is such a big bottle, a lot of product, and it's at a really good price point. Okay, party people. 
I always say I'm sorry for long videos, but then you guys are like, no, I like long videos, what are you talking about? So if you are still here, I am so grateful for you. This is a lot to talk about, but over the past couple years, I've really started taking my skincare, my hair care game very, very seriously. You know, this is the hair that's on my head. I love it. I take very good care of it because I want it to stay healthy. I want it to look good. And um, so these are all the products that kind of help me achieve that look. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, if you are here, like you are amazing in this moment because this is a long video. Love you guys so, so much. Don't forget to go below and click the subscribe button if you are new here. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video.